Hey you guys, it's Peter, and I'm back! Of course I'm back, I'm not going anywhere! Boost! Peekaboo, I see you because I'm YouTube famous now! Available, I just spit like right at the camera. Available in 2021! The lip gloss. <laughs> when your lips are dry as mine. Let me just tell you something before we get in this video, okay? I have so many props for this video. You have no idea. <clears throat> then it's Luna Beauty time. <laughs> I have all of my new fans with me today. So, ha! What if I threw them all in the air and like, I caught them. You guys would be like, oh my God, what I just watched. So I'm gonna use all of my new fans for this, okay? <clears throat> Rock on gold, just I went to a party last Saturday night. Hey little thing, let me light your candle, cause red, red wine <laughs> goes to my head. Oh my God, I have to tell you guys something. So I was coming home. And there were these four guys in this car and they were next to me and they were all like in the tie dye and stuff like that. And they like had their music blasting and they were listening to that song and I was like, oh my God, this takes me totally back to high school before I was sober, before I was sober, right? So I had three good genies of mine. <laughs> we drove around and drank the uh, Boone's Farm. Well, not the driver, but the rest of us, like we would pull over. Listen, you know what I'm saying? We would go to parties, you know, and all that kind of stuff. We went to this one party and I remember my one good genie she, not Misty, not Misty that was given $5 blowjobs. Oh my God, oh my God. I always say BJ's 25 cents for the cuss jar. Not my good Judy Misty that was given $5 BJ's up in the bathroom so she could buy her pack of clove cigarettes, but my other good Judy, okay? Uh, she, at one time we were at this one party and she had like two bottles of Boone's Farm and some uh, wine coolers. We used to drink those wine coolers with Bartles and James wine coolers back in the day. And she was so drunk and she was like, oh, everything's berries, everything's berries. But anyway, uh, so my friends and I, we are, the, me and these three gals that I was best friends with, you know what we called ourselves? The Red Wine Girls. True story, true story. We'd sign everything, all of our notes, because we passed notes back then. We didn't have cell phones and stuff like that. Oh, that was nice. So anyway, Tamisha Iman, <laughs> Tamisha Iman. So anyway, back then, um, we, uh, we uh, had we passed notes and stuff and be like, girl, that guy that we met last night at the Perkins was so cute, wasn't he? Stuff like that. Well, I didn't say that because, you know, <laughs> I wasn't out yet. They, they later said they all knew and I was like, well, how did you all know? But anyway, probably because I was constantly, <laughs> you can't see what this one says, but it says dreaming about dick. But anyway, so uh, I was today, I was like, oh my God, that's so funny. Like here it is like 30 some years later and there are these guys driving around listening to red, red wine. I loved UB40 so much back in the day. Anyway, <clears throat> rock on gold dust woman. Oh, we have a special guest today. And that is of course the amoeba centipede. Centipede um, has some things to say over there. <laughs> Somebody yesterday said something to me. I don't know what they said, but it was so funny. And it was like a very serious comment. And then they were like, I think Centipede would agree. And I was like, oh my God, seriously? He would. But anyway, shut up, Centipede. I told you, hold it down. I've had it with you. You're going back in your time out if you don't hold it down. Anyway, amoebas and their amoebas way. I hope I didn't offend any amoebas out there. But anyway, all right, let's get into today's video. I already have used now four fans. So um, we'll see if we can make it through all these fans by the end of the video. Do I have any more props? No, I don't think so. Red, red, what? This is where people that are new to my channel, they're like, uh, what is going on right now? I don't understand this at all. So anyway, um, it's Friday, so that means, well, I don't know, I say it a lot, but I just wanna thank you guys all for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. You know, every day that I get up, I get to figure out what I'm gonna do for the day. I like, now I have like, listen, I've upped my game, okay? I'm not writing out a list anymore. <laughs> I'm typing up a list. I'm typing up a list and I put down all my video ideas and then I go do my review. Today I reviewed the skinny pumpkin spice latte at Starbucks. Go check it out. See what I had to say. Is it good? Is it not good? Is it worth it? Or should you just get the regular pumpkin spice latte? Or 
should you get the pumpkin cream cold brew who does make an appearance like centipede in my video <clears throat> so i want to say thank you to all of you that watch my vlog and hey listen okay i'm busy over here okay i vlog every single night for an hour I got my drama channel, you know, then I got my Peterisms channel where I read meditations and talk about things in my life, and then I got my booktube channel, and, uh, oh, and then I got two book clubs, a true crime book club that I run with my good Judy Mel. We're having our live stream on Sunday. Hey, Mel, how are you? I'm almost done with the book uh, for last month, August. It's called uh, Couple Found Slain, and uh, then next month's book is about the house of Gucci. Gucci, 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 Lu oh. Gucci, Gucci, Louie, Louie, Fendi, Fendi, Prada. Okay. Uh, so, uh, and then I also have Peter's Book Club, which this month the book is If the Shoe Fits by Julie Murphy. And what else do I have? Uh, I can't remember what else I have, what other channels I got. Peter Does Stuff and uh, my review channel. Yeah. And then I have merch, which I want to thank y'all for buying my merch. Uh, and um, I have cameos, candles. I have candles. All of it's linked below. But just say hi. That's what I really appreciate is all of you out there that fight for first place in my videos. That means so much to me. I love that. At first, I didn't get it. Okay, let's talk about a little bit of uh, drama. And this is part of the drama video. This is the introduction's over, so you can timestamp it at 6 minutes and 10 seconds. Okay. So let's talk about a little bit of the drama yesterday. <laughs> y'all, now... But, you know, yesterday, let me just tell you something, okay? I wanted to talk about Becky Amberlynn Reed's ex-girlfriend, okay? And I knew getting into this video, I was like, no matter what I say, I'm going to get it wrong. I knew that going into the video, okay? Now, I said in my video yesterday, I don't watch Amberlynn Reed anymore. In fact, in doing the little research that I did yesterday, I noticed that Amberlynn Reed in the last couple months has switched over to doing entire live streams, okay, which I will talk about in just a second. And I don't got time to watch 24 hour, 24 hour live streams, 24 hours of live streams a week. I just don't. Not of Amberlynn Reed. I don't care that much about her, okay? Now, Becky over here who's getting 245,000 views on her first vlog ever sitting in a car talking about caves. Maybe she could teach me a thing or two. Okay, but Amberlynn Reed, she's the... Nobody likes Amberlynn Reed on YouTube. And I think we know that by now. I mean, there's a few people that like her and whatever. And all this kind of stuff. And the reason I don't watch Amberlynn Reed is the same reason that, you know, like with Nikocado Avocado and whatever. I'm sure that they're very nice people. But the reason that I don't watch them, that was called sarcasm. The reason I don't watch them anymore is because they have put their personal health um, at the expense of their YouTube channel. And I'm just not okay with that. There's enough channels out there that I can watch that are about cats and dogs and things like that and aliens that will make me happy and abandoned water parks and things like that that I don't have to worry about all that. So I don't watch that. Ch I don't watch her channel anymore, okay? But I did get one thing wrong and y'all let me have it, okay? And what that was was that I said in my video yesterday, yesterday is something like Amber Lynn Reed broke up with her girlfriend Becky and the whole universe went crazy because apparently Becky broke up with Amber Lynn Reed so I want to say I got that fact wrong I did not do my research today I did reach out and I talked to Zachary Michael who I know some of you love and some of you don't and that's okay he is a he well he's not exclusively an Amber Lynn channel but he does follow a lot of what is going on with Amber Lynn so I said could you kind of fill me in on some of these things and he just laughed and he was like, yeah, and he explained to me why Becky broke up with Amberlynn Reed. And he said, you know, it was actually a very ma mature decision. And he like went through the whole thing with me. So I want to say I did get that wrong yesterday in my video and I have been educated now. I also asked him why Amberlynn has gone exclusively to live streams because um, I hadn't watched her in forever. And, and I said that in my video yesterday. I did not know the facts because I don't, I can't, he goes, well, you would have to watch all of the live streams to know everything that's going on. He goes, you know, for example... Amberlynn has a new girlfriend that she refers to as wifey. And I said, well, I saw that in the comments of her apology video. And I was asking what she was apologizing for. And he told me that. All kind of stuff. Okay. So then he said, I don't know, but I have to guess that she um, is going to live streams because the chat is just for the members. And so she has like that membership thing on YouTube now, which is kind of like Patreon, but it's through YouTube. And so like, if you can watch the live stream, but to participate in the, uh, the conversation, you have to be a member, right? Which is smart because then that means more money. Okay, so listen, it's whatever. I mean, 
like I said yesterday, Amberlynn Reed's making more money than God. Okay, I don't have to be a researcher to know that that's true. She posted her numbers a couple years ago of what she made in a, in a YouTube month, which you're not supposed to do ever, period. And she did anyway. And I have to believe that all these years later, she's getting so many more views and whatever. But best of luck to Amberlynn. And most of all, best of luck to Becky. It seems like people really, really like you. So I hope that you are, you know, able to find your way. And I wish you all the best on your YouTube channel. Okay. Um, you can find her nine days a week and uh, five times a day uh, live streaming <laughs> for memberships over on her YouTube channel. I'm sure. No, I'm joking. That was a joke. That was a joke. I'm just, I'm joking. Okay. I know that there's some of you out there that are like, that's not true. And I, and it was interesting because so many people were like, still are still really anti uh, Amber Lynn and are like really positive towards Becky. That was not really the case that I saw when Amberlynn and Destiny broke up. And I did watch back then because that's when she gave her two Christmases. <laughs> Remember, I made videos about that. So anyway, that was back in the day. So I was asking Zach about that. And he was like, well, Becky's a really sweet girl. And he was like, I think people are really supportive of her because of blah, 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 whatever. And, um, they, and he said, you know, there's just a lot of speculation out there about that relationship and stuff. So anyway, there you go. There's all the information that needs to be had from my video yesterday. So I got that wrong and I want to take full responsibility for that. And I should have done my research on that. All right. Woo. Speaking of something else that I have uh, done re some research on, but <laughs> I'm telling you this before I get into this because I'm sure I'll get something wrong. Okay. Is the Trisha Paytas and Moses situation with Moses's ex coming out with all these allegations. Now, I made a video previous to this today, another video about Jordan Cheyenne, and I wasn't going to do two videos today, but I was like, I feel like I need to cover this because I don't know the next thing that's going to happen. And if I don't make this video for the people that just watch my channels, because yes, there are some of you out there that are like, we only watch your channels and we don't know who these people are. And thank you for keeping us updated on the drama. So if I don't put this out there, then there's going to be like a missing thing that happens, right? So let's talk a little bit about what happened. Okay. What's my next fan? <laughs> oh, honey. So let me just tell you, um, what red, red wine. Anyway, um, so what happened, if you don't know what you don't know is a lot, okay, is that, uh, there was this ex-girlfriend, supposed girlfriend of Moses's. Moses is Trisha Paytas's fiance, who is also Ela Klein. Um, it's her brother, okay? And Ela Klein is the wife of Ethan Klein from H3 H3 Productions. H3, or Ethan Klein, Trisha Paytas had a show called Frenemies on H3 H3 Productions. It's no longer. Ethan and Trisha are not talking anymore. And there has been this uh, huge bitter feud between the both of them. I have covered it extensively on my channel. Okay, so Ethan and Ela and H3H3, they are not part of this conversation today. Well, I mean, they could be, I guess, if you want to, if you want to bring it in. Do you? Do you? Okay, but I'm not going to be talking about them, I don't think. So anyway, so I think it was like a week ago, um, this girl came out and um, she started making all these allegations about Moses. And she was on her Instagram story and it was just like people were asking her these questions and she was answering them. Answering, I mean, it went, literally went on for like ever. It was like all, and I, and I covered a lot of it on my channel over here. You can go watch it on my previous Moses and Trisha videos that I did. It's like <laughs> the last three videos or something, right? So I said at the time that I thought that it was interesting that Trisha Paytas hadn't come out and addressed this because Trisha Paytas addresses everything, right? Just like, for example, when Ethan Klein put up this clip uh, yesterday that Trisha Paytas came out and addressed it because Trisha was very upset about it, right? Okay, so I made that video. I think that was yesterday. Moses hadn't, he didn't really say a whole lot about it, anything. He responded to one person with a tweet and I was like, this doesn't really cover the allegations, okay? He's just saying that people, he was talking about a picture that somebody had posted and they said um, of like him with a friend of his that supposedly invited to the wedding. They always talk about this wedding. I'm like, when is this wedding? Like, when did the invitations go out? When is it happening? Like, you're all talking about who's invited, who's not invited. We all know that Ethan Klein's mom, she ain't going to the wedding. You know, it's like, when is this big wedding? This must be happening soon. I, it kind of surprises me. I thought Trisha might have like, uh, a summer wedding. It surprises me if, if Trisha's having a winter, I mean, winter wonderland wedding. Maybe. No, who knows? But anyway, um, <laughs> that means I need a new fan. Obviously, I don't know which one. Tens, tens, tens across the board for a winter wonderland wedding. Anyway, um, 
So Moses finally did come out and he did address this. Now I have to tell you, there are like a lot of screenshots that have been put up of conversations with him and this gal. And I'm so confused about it. So I will go into this video saying that, <laughs> no, I don't really have a whole lot of bias about this. I don't really care. You know, like it, it, at this point, it's just like, they're all crazy. They are all crazy and they all want crazy lives. And y'all have that at your cra crazy life. My job is just to comment on it. Okay. Like y'all want me to comment about, uh, uh, Erica Jane and Sutton because I got things to say about that okay my husband and I let me just tell you he is upstairs right now I think this is the first time that we have ever agreed <laughs> not today Satan this is the first time we have ever agreed on that Real Housewives of Beverly Hills I need to tell you that Erica Threaten and Sutton I watched that last night I was like oh and I love Kyle Richards. I do. Okay. But she is, be she's being very two-faced this season. And let me just tell you on Sunday, do y'all know what starts the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City? I can't wait. Oh my God. I cannot wait. So anyway, I can't wait for them all to come back. I love Meredith and I love, who else do I love? Heather and Lisa. Who else? Uh, who else do I love on Salt Lake City? You don't know. Anyway, uh, the dogs, the dogs, all of them. But anyway, and who's the breakout star? Uh, Meredith's son, Brooks. I think he's going to get his own reality show one of these days or something. He's in some, They said just make him an honorary Real Housewife. But anyway, should I start doing Real Housewife coverage? I would love it. Oh my God, I eat the, the Housewives. I mean, I don't do that, family friendly. But I love watching the Housewives. So should I do Housewife coverage? Would you guys like me to do a video just on the Erica Jane and Sutton situation? Because I could talk three hours about that. So anyway, oh Lord, who is texting me? Somebody just texted me. Who is it? Oh! It's my good Judy, Melissa. Melissa and I, let me tell you, okay, now her husband, he had a big birthday and we're all going on a couple's trip to Las Vegas, Nevada. We're excited, but Melissa and I are starting a horror movie podcast, okay? Not like some horrors in this house, like horror, scary movies. We cannot wait. We're so excited. Okay. And that big announcement's coming real soon about that. All right. What does this fan say? <laughs> I was ready for you. We were all ready for you. How dare you? I love that one. Okay. So anyway, um, so Moses finally comes out and he addresses this. So let me read you what Moses had to say. Okay. And you guys, I have to tell you, like, I'm probably going to, this is what I was going to say before all that. I'm probably going to get a bunch wrong. I don't really understand it. It's a lot of back and forth. I'm just going to read it to you guys. And then I will give you my two cents about it. Okay. So Moses finally comes out and he addresses the situation. Hold on a second. And this was uh, one day ago. He comes out and he says, uh, this was 9921. Recently, there has been a serious allegation made against me that is not true. And of course, we, but he doesn't have a YouTube channel, but he does have a TikTok, okay? But he resorts to um, putting this up on, you know, the, we love the, the Twitter, you know, statement. I think it would have been interesting if, uh, and I understand why Trisha wouldn't want to do it. Um, I thought it would be interesting if Trisha and uh, Moses sat down in a video on Trisha's channel together and talk and had him talk about it. I think that would have been interesting. Okay. Uh, recently, there has been a serious allegation made against me that is not true. I have chosen. See, that's where I like just throw something out like that. Like I just throw out some idea, and then everybody's like, "Oh, well, you shouldn't have said this because it was just an idea. It was just I, I, maybe I'm 100% wrong in, and that should never have happened." Okay, and they should never film a video together like that. I don't know. But Trisha has filmed a lot of videos with Moses and put Moses on their channel. So to sit down and address these allegations when Trisha Paytas has made videos talking about all other kinds of things, I don't think it's completely out of line. I don't think, I think that's a video that people would want to see, right? So, I mean, this has made like national headlines and magazines and stuff. 9921. Recently, there has been a serious allegation made against me that is not true. I have chosen to not give attention to it out of respect for this person's well-being, but now the lies have gone too far. I met this person only once in real life on February 14th through the 15th, 2020. She is not my ex. She was never my girlfriend. I am showing these texts to show the timelines of what actually happened. I made it clear I didn't want to lead her on and that it's nobody's fault. She continued to ask me to meet up with her and have a relationship with her after I made it clear I didn't feel we were a match. She got upset when me and Trisha started dating well after we stopped talking and continued to plead with me to date her and not Trisha. It's been a year and a half of this person spreading lies, but now this new false accusation cannot be ignored. Please read this thread for the text messages when we were, commu when we were communicating. 
Okay, so then he links these text messages underneath here, okay? Um, and the allegation that I think that he is talking about is the allegation that she um, insinuated that they had consented to having um, protected sex and that halfway through, Moses chose to not have uh, protected sex unbeknownst to her. So I think that's the allegation that he is insinuating this. Okay, um, so when you read these things, it's very confusing because it's just kind of like in the middle of the thing. Um, she said, it was my fault too, and he said, we try, and she said, but I was actually feeling something, and he said, we both try, nothing wrong with that, and she said, I wrote you a card and talked about wanting to see you again, meanwhile, you chose someone over me who wants to destroy every relationship you have and have a history of abuse, and has a history of abuse. Now, this is important, okay, in what she says about, uh, Trisha Paytas in this, referring to that, right, and he said, don't mix the two, that is just twisted. And she responds and says, wow, that's literally what it is. I don't know why you're not seeing it. You're better than this. And uh, then something, it's like, it, they don't go together, right? And he says um, something and then she says, okay. And he says, and move on. This is not healthy or fair to you or to me. And she says, are you with her? And he says, no one's business what I do. I am a private person. They make online drama and you fall for it. And she said, I know you're a private person and you hate drama. That's why I'm so confused what you're doing. You're going to get hurt. And he says, you are not my mother and I don't need one. WTF, I'm 42. <clears throat> and she says, I know, sorry. Yeah, sorry, this is me caring as a friend. And he said, no, it's not. This is hate. And um, why am I like not reading these? Like these are, okay, wait. Um, hold on a second. I don't know how these are supposed to go in order. Um, it's, I don't want to see messages every day about you bending her over a couch. And he said, I didn't. That is just you and them stalking me. And he said, and she said, me, I don't care. I'm the one getting messages every day. And he said, if you don't care, then what is the problem? You created that. You put yourself in the mix, not me. Block them. And then it goes on and she says, WTF. And he says, I never talked about us. And she said, you never gave me the benefit of the doubt. And that sucks. And he said, to do what? You lie to me. And she said, you unfollowed me on everything and didn't do the same to her. I don't. I swear I never actually leak info about you. All I did, that's exactly what she did, okay? I swear I never actually leak information about you. And then she goes and tells everything that she knows about him. Wow. All I did was post that photo. This is back in the day, okay? And the tweet and deleted that. How can you not trust me and trust her when she's doing all this horrible stuff? I don't get it. So now it's become this girl against Trisha Paytas, okay? So then it goes up and he reads more of these. Um, and so he says, should I do the same to you? And she says, WTF, WTF, did I say about your private life? And he said, I saw all the tweets and she said, okay, but I didn't say anything private. And she said, also, I'm not going around calling your family dumb or starting drama again, comparing herself to Trish Paytas. So he said, so why people still talk, uh, still talk about you and me? And she said, I don't know. They hate Trisha and want her to spiral. And he said, well, you're the only one to start it. And, um, Hold on a second. I don't understand how these, what order they're supposed to go in. So anyway, let me just get up to this top statement, okay? So this top statement is his pinned comment, and this is from her, right? And this is what it says. Thought, and this is from April 3rd, 2020. Thought I should let you know I made my Instagram and Twitter public again. I deleted everything that has to do with you. I unfollowed you on Instagram and Twitter. I'm sorry that you're going through this. I never wanted to be, and this is when it all came up like a year ago, okay? Um, I never wanted to be part of this and I accept full responsibility for that stupid tweet about her taking my guy in the photo. I am deeply sorry for any hurt I may have caused you. It was never my intention. I'm a nobody from the middle of nowhere and never could have imagined she would see that. I had a beautiful Valentine's Day with you and it was a night I really needed. It was nice to have a mental escape. All I signed up for was getting to know you and I hoped it would have led to more, but you said it obviously wasn't the same on your part. That's okay. I'm not upset or anything about that. If you don't feel it, you don't feel it. That's no one's fault. I am sorry that you regret meeting me. I've only ever been with someone for two months. Hold on a second. Just started over. My God, this is like a screen roll, okay? Um, uh, hold on a second. Uh, thank you again. Wait, I've only ever been with someone for two months and that was extremely long distance. I'm new to dating, but maybe it's just not for me. Thank you again for such a lovely Valentine's Day. It's a memory I will always cherish. Like you said, in the end, you'll see who had your heart in mind. I won't leak any combos, pics, or anything. I have no interest in exposing anyone. 
That's interesting. I wish you nothing but happiness and light. Very much enjoyed a look into your world. Maybe when this blows over, we, uh, we can get to know each other again. Until then, and then she signs it. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, then why would she choose to release all this stuff now? Like, I mean, I don't understand why she would choose to release this stuff now. What? Centipede. He said, you're about to share. Yes, I am going to share. Uh, so it goes on and she some of the screenshots say you also said you hate drama So maybe this is for the best. It's been like two tw two weeks and nothing but drama has come from this Comments on your page are horrible and responses are mean But it shouldn't end because of some stupid thing I said in overreaction and if you need me to say anything I will I'll help out in any way I can okay I think she should come out and say that and um, She said and I never said anything about us having SEX. There's no proof of that And then she goes on to share all this kind of stuff uh, and it's just back and forth again between them. Okay, what's interesting is when you go over here to one of the uh, the threads that he shows, okay, she says, you're sweet and genuine. The hate you got right off the bat over it was undeserved. And he says, I just wanted to be friends and help her. He's talking about Trisha Paytas, okay? And this girl responds to him after they've met, after they've had their one night, okay? Um, Trisha can't be friends with, uh, with people. I'm telling you, I've watched her for literally 10 plus years. I don't know her personally, but I know her patterns. She genuinely needs help. Seriously help, okay? And I'm like, at this point, I'm like, so you've watched Trisha Paytas for 10 plus years. You know her patterns, okay? So you're an expert on Trisha Paytas. You go on a date with Moses before he dates Trisha Paytas, and then you come out and you're very upset with the fact that Moses is dating Trisha Paytas. It's evident when you read the text messages between them that are all over Moses' um, Twitter page at this point. You're upset that Moses, you even said it, say it, you even said it, picked Trisha over you, okay? But this isn't personal and now all of a sudden you, I mean, because people have been asking, why now? Why now? Why now is she releasing these tweets? Well, it seems pretty obvious to me, you know? So you come out now when there's this huge hate Trisha train, right? And it's just, to me, I don't know. Like, the timing seems very, very suspect. And, and I think that's one of the big questions that a lot of people are asking. Like, why now? Why now come out with all these allegations, you know? Um, so it'll be interesting to see what happens going forward. Um, I looked. I don't think... I. I do not believe that she has posted anything else on her Instagram since then. Hold on, I just pulled it up. No. She just has the same picture on there and um, not really a whole lot more. So she hasn't come out and addressed it since Moses is saying anything. As, as far as I know, if she posted something and it's gone from the story, then I don't think so. But I haven't heard anything else about it, have you? So anyway, if you do, if you have, and, and I got that part wrong, please leave it in the comment section below and I'll look into that. Um, so I, I think, you know, what do you think about all that? Interesting, isn't it? Anyway, um, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.